in the back. All right, Coach, can you just talk about what these two signings mean for the program and how excited you are about them? No, I mean, I don't know that words really can describe how, you know, um, incredible, you know, and profound that this is for our program from, you know, obviously to have this, you know, in, in such a short period of time has been has been phenomenal. You know, um, for us to be able to, to sign the, the kind of class that we've been able to sign has, has been really remarkable. And, you know, I, I really, really want to, give a lot of props to my staff. Um, I think they've done an absolute phenomenal job recruiting these kids. You know, it's been a, been a lot of hard work, a lot of hours put into it. And um, certainly uh, Coach Justice deserves a tremendous, tremendous amount of the credit uh, being, you know, leading the way for us um, with, with taking over and being a, my recruiting coordinator. Um, how uh, how great is it just to have the season that you had last year and to turn that into being able to recruit in such a great class like this? Uh, I think it, there's you know a, a lot of uh, a correlation there. I think anytime you have success on the court, you're going to have success in the recruiting game. Um, and obviously, with the year that we had a year ago, and and being able to turn that into the success now in the recruiting game uh, says a lot. It says a lot about. Um, the University of Houston. It says a lot about our basketball program as a whole, but it certainly says volumes, speaks volumes for uh, for what kind of staff I have and, and how hard they worked and done the due diligence to get these kids done. How much was it um, the success of last season? Um, how how easy, easier was it to get into the home and, and actually uh, seal the deal? Uh, Jerry, that's a great question. I think that um, Without question, I think it put us on a lot of people's radar that normally we would not have been on, and that's just being really honest. Um, I think that once people saw the the style of play and, and the type of game that we're playing here at the University of Houston, I think along with the success that you could put all the pieces to the puzzle and play a fun style and play a a, a very aggressive style on the defensive side, but then also win games with it, I think turned everybody's heads and certainly put us on the map as far as in the recruiting game. And, and you know, we became an option um, to to some very, very good players. And also the conference has changed, um, you know, since you were uh, last season, the conference looked like it was uh, winnable for the Cougars down the road. Um, Everybody graduated a bunch of seniors last year, so kids were looking at it's a place that I can go and play. How much did that have? Do you? Uh, uh, great point. Great point. I mean, that was one of our biggest selling points. Was is what you're alluding to? Is that you know we go into a kid's home and say, hey, you know, we're, we're losing six seniors. You know, you can come here, you can play immediately, and then you know, obviously when they get here next year, you know, it's going to be the the same thing. You know, we lose three more seniors, so we're going to have lost nine seniors in only two seasons. And um, I, I think that's very, very attractive to, to, to kids, the knowing that when they get here, they're going to be able to have the opportunity not only play a lot of minutes immediately, but they're going to be fighting and have the right to uh, for that starting position on top of it. Tell us, give us, a, I guess, a brief scouting report on the, each of the five. Um, obviously, uh, Tyler Gilbert uh, and, and Taylor Gilbert, I just kind of do them together. I mean, you know, both... Uh, uh, a true six one six two uh, versatile post. They have the intangibles uh, in their in their skill set that you know you can't coach. Number one, their height. Number two, their athleticism. I mean, they both jump out of the gym. They both uh, uh, have have an incredible uh, athleticism to run the floor, sprint the floor. Which, I mean, obviously, again, you know that that goes back to to my philosophy of how we want to play, and they certainly meet that in every way. Um, I think that uh, offensively, you know, Taylor is, 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 you know, she can pull through. She can, you know, play with her back to the basket as far as face up as well. Tyler is more of a back to the basket, but certainly um, has the ability and the length to jump over people. They both have tremendous, <coughs> tremendous abilities of being able to be great shot blockers. Um, you know, right now, I think that's something that, you know, to be real, you know, candid, we don't have. And so they both bring, you know, instant impact ability into obviously the foundation that we've laid um 
very just incredibly excited about both of them and their whole family being a part of our basketball family. Um, Marsha Emerson, she uh, again six foot six one long, very athletic. Uh, probably a good analogy for her is as of a year ago, um, Brittany Mason, um, very long, very athletic, very good defender. But now Marche has the ability to step out with her skill set uh, and, and, and knock down the three. Shoots the three, knocks down the three, gives us great length and versatility whether she wants to play it. We can play her on the perimeter or we can play her at a four spot. Um, the other thing that she brings to the table is incredible basketball IQ. Um, makes great decisions, um, knows the game very well. And then the last thing she obviously with her length and everything, she she can guard basically one through four spots. She's that kind of athlete. Um, Alicia, Alicia Smith, Cedar Hill product. Um, I mean, I've just, you know, just fell in love with the kid. She's just such a great personality. Nobody's going to come in and work harder than her. Uh, from a point guard standpoint, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of that kind of kid with her kind of work ethic. And obviously her skill set is, is, is impeccable. I mean, she is, um, she is truly that coach on the floor. Um, I'm not going to put her in peace class yet because you have to earn that right. But I do feel very, very confident and very comfortable knowing that Pete will be a senior this year and, and leaving our program and having Alicia come in and be able to take over the reins of our basketball team. Uh, I, I'm very, very confident and very comfortable with, with, with that. Bianca Winslow. Um, again, very athletic, long, lean, incredible defender on the basketball. Um, certainly has improved tremendously with her outside shot in her perimeter game. Um, we'll continue to grow that, continue to develop, you know, her. As we will continue to, you know, all five of these kids. But every single one of them have the intangibles of being athletic, being uh, long. I mean, the things, again, that you really can't coach. Bianca, obviously, you know, I'm so proud of the situation there because her dad, you know, we all know Ricky. Ricky was a phenomenal, phenomenal player here. Others may not know mom. You know, she she's also a University of Houston alum. So anytime you can bring former Cougars back and now have their kids and it be, you know, going into a second generation, uh, I, I think we've made incredible strides for those, you know, for those um, situations to, to come full circle. Could you talk a little bit about um, Coach Dickey? Is also seems like both of you are recruiting local kids and you know kids from around the Houston area in Texas. Um, what that means to the program recruiting, recruiting from Houston, having a team of athletes from this area. It means everything. I mean, we are the University of Houston. We are the city's university. Um, I, I think you have to uh, look far and hard to even come close to having the, the, the talents that we have here in our own city and in the greater Houston area. Um, why not recruit here? I mean, you can find the best of the best right here. Uh, and, you know, I made that vow uh, from day one in my press conference, uh, you know, when I first got here, that we we're going to recruit Houston and we're going to recruit the greater Houston area and then we're going to go straight up 45 and we're going to hit Dallas in the Metroplex area and that's everything that you know that this class has been and um we're not going to change we're going to recruit houston greater houston dallas metroplex area and the state of texas as a whole that's good thanks a lot